it's so good. Philly cheesesteak with some peppers. That's what I'm rocking right now. Oh. Oh. This is a tasty cake glazed apple pie. This one's pretty awesome. Oh. I hit a little bit of cream. Giovanni, you a bad bee. Woo! Basically, I have some of Philadelphia's finest treats. I went to a place called Giovanni's Pizza. And then I had to go to the fine establishment known as Wawa. So, basically... We're gonna go through, I'm gonna talk to some of y'all while I try these different treats, see what you guys think. And we'll get it poppin', boys and girls. So the first treat that we have up is a slice of pizza. Slice of pizza. From Giovanni's, heck yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. That's a good pizza. That's a good slice right there. Wawa Mukbang is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Use promo code SAX to get 20% off at checkout. Come see me do stand up live February 5th through 6th at Hyenas Comedy Club in Dallas, Texas. Listen. If there's anybody from Philadelphia that wants to join this chat right now, I'm highlighting Wawa. I'm highlighting pizza from Philly. I'm in Royers for Pennsylvania right now. I'm gonna be doing a little sampling. The room temp is actually pretty solid on this pizza. <laughs> Shades of Henry Ford. Yeah, shove it down your gullet. It's my buddy John McCarthy. Shout out to him. Very funny comment. Who's from Chicago? All right, I'm gonna start adding some y'all. See what you think. What up? What's up, Jeremiah? What's good? How you doing? Not too bad. I wish I was munching down like you right now. My bed is. I got no food in my bed right now. Oh yeah. I just got this. This Lacroix. Ooh, what flavor you rocking, girl? Uh, passion fruit. You gotta get on that popple mousse. Oh man, I've had that one before. It always confuses me because I always. Why is it confusing? Because what the hell is a popple mousse? Man, don't just don't ask questions. Just drink it, baby. I guess. I guess that's uh, that's the way it should be. Where are you from, dog? I'm from New Hampshire. So you know about that Wawa life? No, no Wawa's here, but... Oh, there's I'm no Wawa's out there? What? No Wawa's out there? No, we ain't got no Wawa's. I've heard a lot about Wawa, though. It seems like uh, they got some good sandwiches. You got to get on this hype train. I'm, really? I'm about to... Uh, so I just had some pizza from Giovanni's. This is a Philly cheesesteak from Wawa. B-U-U Bear... Lives and dies by Wawa, they're saying. Well, you can't go wrong with that. Well, nice chatting with you, brother. I hope you have a happy new year. Thanks for all the, all the funny stuff. Thanks for being you, dude. Have a good night. I'm in Pennsylvania, y'all. I'm doing uh, what they call a mukbang. I think it's called a mukbang. I don't even know what it's called. I grabbed a bunch of different stuff from. Oh, I should probably grab <clears throat> washcloth. Or something. Yeah, I'm eating in my hotel room bed. This is my last. I just uh, did. Uh, I just headlined Soul Joel's Comedy Club in Royersford, Pennsylvania. It was my last stand-up show of the year, uh, and Rory's for Pennsylvania, and I wanted to celebrate by going to Wawa, one of my favorite places when I go on the East Coast, Mukbang, that's what it's called, and uh, 
I got Tasty Cakes. I got this from Wawa right here. And I might even use some of this towel so I don't ruin these shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So, I got... Oh, now this looks pretty good right here. You can see that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, just riding solo. Um, had a couple buddies who were on the show with me tonight. Jordan and Brendan Sagalow and James Matter. They're all very funny New York comics that uh, worked with me tonight on the show. But I'm just flying solo. I didn't bring anybody from L.A. This is just like a one-nighter that I did. And I'm going to put some of this chili paste sauce and see where we at with this. Got some more requests of some people. Hop in. Best of podcasting. I've been enjoying this channel lately. We'll see what's going on. Wait in. Philly cheesesteak with some peppers. That's what I'm rocking right now. KJB Sycamore. Enjoyed the special, brother. Thank you very much for supporting and getting that. That's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Let's see. Let's try this guy right here. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> What's up, Jeremiah? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. I just wanted to fucking say what's up. I'm a big fan, bro. I, um, I'm from California, and I'm, uh, you know, I seen you at the improv when you had the long ass hair and the hat. Again, um, yeah, man, it's awesome. Love the work. Heck yeah. Do you remember who else was on the, the show, the improv that you saw me on? I actually think that. You know what, man? No, I don't remember. I don't. But Good, man. That that I'll be making impressions like that. I'm the only one that you remember. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was hilarious. Like I had such a good time. You were very. That was a really good set and everything. I had brought a coworker with me, and we had a good ass time, man. Heck yeah! What part of California are you in, bro? Uh, no, I'm from. I'm actually from Whittier, California, and then I was living off Melrose and Fairfax for a while. That's when I was. I got real into the comedy scene. And um, I'm living in North Carolina right now, actually. How close to uh, Raleigh are you? Like an hour and uh, I'm like an hour and uh, twenty minutes. Like an hour and twenty minutes. Okay, cool. I was just out there a few months back in Raleigh at uh, at Good Nights Comedy Club. That's a fun club that they got out there. Yeah, I um, I have, like you know, I've only been to the Comedy Zone out here in Greensboro. Mm-hmm. But I haven't seen too many. Like I haven't seen any of you guys out there. Yeah, but um, I went to the Comedy great. Zone years ago with uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, but it's been a minute since I've been there. Yeah, man, I want to see you guys when you come out to the East Coast for sure. And like, I'm just waiting for New York. Though. I'm in New York like every other weekend. I just want to go to the cellar in Caroline so bad. <laughs> yeah, well, well, once it opens back up, we'll be out there. So yeah. And I, I also wanted, I also wanted to tell you, Jeremiah, I wanted to thank you, man. Um, I listened to the podcast with uh, with Ryan Sickler, you know, Honeydew. And uh, that shit hit home, man. It hit home hard. Uh, I, I had a similar loss recently. And, yeah, so I really appreciate it. I liked, you know, all the stuff you said in there. And I related to it a lot. And, yeah. Well, I, uh, I'm very sorry to hear about your loss, brother. But um, I'm glad, uh, uh, if anything I said resonated at all. Uh, you know, it's all about connecting with people and stuff like that. So I, I'm glad that... Uh, it found it. It's it's way into your, your ears or your eyes. So that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't let that, don't let that bring the energy down, man. It's fucking sick. No, it's all like, good, all good. I'm freaking. I'm not, dude. I'm in a great mood. I'm not on this this <laughs> Philly cheesesteak from a gas station right now. Celebrate my last stand up show hey, of the year. Wawa is the shit, man. <laughs> I'm, like I said. So you know about that Wawa life? Yeah, I man. I have my I have my own furniture delivery company. So I'm always going. I'm driving up to New York all the time. And yeah, I, I fucking I've been to yeah, all of them. I, I, in California, it was always all all the time Seven Eleven, and then um, and then uh, and then out here in North Carolina, it's all about sheets. And then up there, farther up on the East Coast, New York, Wawa's the winner all the way. 
So good, man. Every every time I come out to the East Coast, this is like a staple that I have to stop by. And it's also clean. Like you go you go into a Seven Eleven in California sometimes, and you just like you try. It smells like fucking hobo piss. Fucking dude. Trash. One of the times my mom visited <laughs> me in California, <laughs> she was buying. We we're buying stuff at the Seven Eleven, right? And she goes, "Can I use your restroom?" And they go, "No, it's for employees only." And she goes, then I'm going to piss in your alley. <laughs> and the guy behind the counter goes, he goes, he goes, everybody else does it. Be my guest. <laughs> so my mom literally went out to the alley outside 7-Eleven and took a piss in that alley. My mom goes hard, dog. Oh, it's like it's sick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, bro, have an awesome night, and I, I wish you a happy new year. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate some other people in, but thank you for connecting with me and uh, and saying what's up. I think I'm actually losing you right now a little bit. I'm gonna pop you out, but wishing you well, brother. Woo! Philly cheesesteak ASMR. I guess that's what pe some people are calling this thing. I like how the view count slowly is dropping because people are just like, is this dude just eating and talking with people? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I do it, dog. That's what I do. Casey's Pizza? Hold up. You talking about Casey's Breakfast Pizza? Because if Casey's Breakfast Pizza's on the menu, you know I'll be ordering that. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm smashing. That's Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. With peppers. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what's crack, Black? How you doing, dog? How you doing? I listened to you on the sickle cell last night on the way home. Heck yeah, brother. That's awesome. Help, yeah, you help make the trip better. That trip. Listen to it on the way there. Learn some new shit. Laughing and uh, feeling good. Oh, good. Heck yeah. Congratulations on uh, the baby on the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is my little baby. Oh, uh, what's Say up? What? How are you? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah, there's my little monster. Yeah, I got these little Liberty and Hope. These little, these are my little Mexicans. Nice, dude. I, I always thought I was going to have fat little boys like me, but I had these two little adorable girls. It's crazy. Well, if I have a Mexican baby, then I have to talk to my wife, but I would welcome it otherwise. Isn't that the best when uh, Jim Carrey had a black baby? Like, didn't you notice that the water beads off their hair? <laughs> Is that an Living Color sketch? No, it was when, uh, was it uh, Me, Myself, and Irene? Me, Myself, and Irene. Right. That is a funny movie. It's been a minute since I saw that, but that's a great movie. Yeah, dude, I thought it was amazing sharing about your friend Candace because, uh, you know, I lost my best friend and mentor to suicide and, like, I feel like keeping their memory alive, it's like powerful. Because like last night getting that out of you, I knew right where you were because I'm like, I don't know, somehow it helps when you feel like people have been like felt the same pain you have. And it's like, uh, you know, cause we're all gonna make it through it, but it's like, we keep that inside a lot. And I know that when you were talking about it and you weren't just talking about it, you were thinking about it and it just stops your tone. Like, I know how it is, but I can do that anytime I like put myself in deep thought. So I feel like every time it gives you a little bit more strength. And, uh, yeah, it was, know, the, fir it was the first time I had, um, it was the first time I talked about it like publicly like that. So I, I really got caught off guard. Uh, cause, um, you know, I hadn't talked about it in years and years and I, it was, it's something, um, you know, obviously traumatic that, that, uh, happened a while ago. No, yeah, because what you said, even when it was weird, because when Brody happened, I couldn't even hear the word suicide without, like, it would, it would make me have anxiety and depression. Yeah. And, like, uh, I, went, I started going to the comedy store when that was happening, and I didn't know Brody at all, but I was just observing. Like, I couldn't even get out of my house for a few years after my friend died, and, like, just go to the comedy store and watch it. You know, it was, like, it was pretty powerful to see, like, people's reaction, you know, because there's people that didn't know him or didn't like him that were on you know, that, like, oh, poor me, and everything, and it was just, and then there were some people that were genuinely, you know, affected by it, and I, you could tell the difference, I mean, the funniest was Jeff Ross, because he, 
at the when he went on and he was like, no wonder all his friends. I mean, humor was the greatest relief, I feel like, to all that. So I think it's awesome what you're doing. And I hope I saw your show like probably five, six times to be on the spot. Oh, and heck yeah. That's the shit when uh, coming up with new ideas. Yeah. And uh, um, I just think that's important because you have that talent too, like Jim Carrey. You put yourself out there and do that, so I hope we do a remake of some fucking sketch show because I know I'm so old and everything genuinely remixed. It's like fucking ridiculous is the number one show on MTV and Bob Saget was doing that shit fucking 30 years ago. Right. And Todd it and things do it and everybody's like, well, man, TV did it. Well, imagine you could do it with, with your style, being able to be on the internet and just people being wild. I feel like if anybody had a little budget for like makeup and, uh, and, uh, like the wardrobe, you guys can fucking kill it. That's the goal. So that'll be, I mean, that's definitely a, a goal to be making that happen in the future. Um, so, man, I, I appreciate you uh, you calling in, All brother. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to eat this tasty cake here. now, dog. Hey, if you go to jail, you can get something good for that honey bar. Oh, snap. Much love, right. dog. Later. If you join in, and this is a tasty cake iced honey bun, and this is my absolute favorite thing from Wawa. There, I said it. I always think of Joel Jimenez when I go to Wawa because we have a shared love for this place. Here we go. goodness it's so good it's so freaking good it's amazing mm. let's just say this tasty cake hit a little different mm. Mm -mm. I can't eat too much of each thing yet because I'm going to be sampling all this stuff. Here we go. I'm going to take a couple more people. Oh, yeah. I like this coming. It's coming on right now. Next up, frosted mini donuts. Chocolate. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm just... You know, out here gigging and treating myself to some Wawa gas station treats. Uh, you should, brother. Congrats on all the success, bro. You deserve it. You're amazing, bro. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you saying that. Hey, it's, I'm in Vegas. When I was driving here, I was listening to you and Bobby Lee on his podcast. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, thanks, man. That was a fun one. You guys drove to Vegas. And I was driving to Vegas and I was listening to it. It was fucking hilarious. I was just about to say that. I'm like, that's a perfect podcast to listen to on the way to Vegas. Yeah, I was going through his uh, Tiger Belly because I listened to it and I saw you. I'm like, oh man, I got to listen to Jeremiah. Oh, heck yeah. And, man, it was great, man. Uh, congrats on your success, brother. You're doing great. And you know what? You're going to make it on that show, SNL. And I'll see you in it. I appreciate I appreciate the the positive vibes, man. I appreciate you, man. I always appre I always like your appearances on Kill Tony, man. Say that again. I always like your your appearances on Kill Tony. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm a rookie, but I'm just starting out. This is what I'm gonna do. But that's what know? that's we, everybody's a rookie starting out, you know. So right. I mean, you're yeah. you're doing it. Say that again. You're doing it. Yes, yes, I'm doing a lot of mics. I'm trying to do two, three mics a day, mostly outdoor parks and stuff. Oh, good. But but I know how it is. The game, you gotta just do it every day. Hang out with comics to like three in the morning and just keep working. You know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Gotta keep that grind going. You're fi you're you're finding ways to gig, which is huge. So you're doing great, man. Say that again. You you're finding ways to gig out there, so you're killing it. So that's awesome. Yeah. Because they always tell you where the open mics are, you know? Yeah. So uh, it's good to be part of the community finally, open micers, you know, in LA. Some not open micers, they're pretty good, you know, they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. But, you know? 
So it's really awesome, man. How was the show today? It was fun, dude. It was, it's my last show of 2020, so I'm celebrating with this mukbang video, just grabbing all this different stuff from the gas station and stuff. But it was a heated dome uh, in uh, Rogersford, Pennsylvania, called Soul Jules Comedy Club, and the staff and everybody who put it on there was amazing. And like, uh, it was a fun little turnout that we had. It was it was, it was cool, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, that's what's up, bro. Uh, so. Uh... Are you having any shows coming out for New Year's or are you going back home? I'm going back to LA tomorrow and then I'm in Austin uh, on January 7th at Vulcan Gas Company and then the 8th and the 9th I'm at Fort Worth uh, Hyenas in Texas. Oh, nice, nice. Are you doing a show with Tony? Um, I don't think so. I mean, if he's around, I might ask him uh, if, he's, if he wants to do a spot or anything, but he may be out of town. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, okay. Well, shit, you're a headliner now, bro. You don't need him. <laughs> you're good. Uh, I'll, I'll always be <laughs> gigging with Tony and stuff like that. I love Tony. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you think the Commerce store is going to open up next year? It will sometime next year. but it'll, Sometime next year, but it'll be a little bit, so... Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll I'm gonna roll back to to, to this evening and get a couple more people involved. But thank you for calling in, brother. All right, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Have a safe trip in Vegas. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I'm having this chocolate donut right now. He's a good dude. He's super nice. Frosted chocolate mini donuts. And I love these. I love them. Pro tip, I gotta freeze these. Next time, if I can freeze these, I will. I'm moving on though. I'm slowly I'm sampling different ones, letting you guys know which ones uh y'all like right now or what I recommend for the next time. I just had the chocolate, so now I'm gonna go to the powdered mini donut and see where we're at. I have been enjoying playing Warzone. I've been playing with uh, Ron Punches a lot. He's been so nice to help me out and get me set up. I've been going through like a lot of tech issues, uh, as I've heard that a lot of people do. But Eric Griffin was super nice and gave me a walkthrough on FaceTime and trying to help me out. And I think I have everything sorted out. I think I have all the right cables and everything. Uh, and I want to start streaming as different characters and doing music stuff on my Twitch. So if you guys are on Twitch, I'm at Jeremiah Stand Up on Twitch, just like I am on Instagram. So. Check it out. Oh. Oh. I think this might be better than the chocolate. Oh, man. That's really good. Memes of reality. OBS can be a pain in the butt. I'm learning that all the time. I might have to do one more of these. This was so good. Dude, Wawa don't play around. That's right, Cody G Comedy. They do not mess around. I'm gonna go back to just, just, just to mix it up. I gotta have a palate cleanser. And this pizza is my palate cleanser right now. Mm. Giovanni, you a bad B. Woo! Where's from the Stacy? She's been blogging a lot lately. I gotta see what she thinks of, um, you know, Biden and Kamala getting in office. She's gotta be pretty excited. I haven't talked to her in a little bit. We gonna pop somebody else in here. Oh, I want to say what's up to this artist right here. I love this dude. This next one I'm trying is the peach tasty cake. It's a baked pie. What up, Alec? What's up, player? What up? How you doing, man? Good, good. I'm just working on art. You know how it is. Yeah. I was just. I was gonna see those pies. Those pies will give you the shit straight up. Yeah. Like instantly. Instantly. I, uh... 
I used to be addicted to them when I was a little kid. Not a good idea. Ooh, well, it's time for a cleansing. <laughs> I, uh, I fucking, uh, I, I came in as soon as you started and I saw six pies behind you and I was afraid that you were eating away your feelings or something. No, I'm actually, I'm in a good mood right now. I did my last stand-up show of 2020 and I'm just, this is just a, a weird celebration with food for the end of the year. We made it through 2020. I don't have a stand-up show tomorrow night on New Year's Eve, so this is my last stand-up show good. of the night. I was about to be like, uh, I was like, if you have a show tomorrow, you're not, you might not feel that great. No, I am traveling though, so it, I might feel a little, I'll probably have a sugar hangover in the morning. Yeah, I, I, uh, when you get back to L.A.? Tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. That's sweet. Did you, um, uh, I gotta be honest, I've not been catching up on Kill Tony lately. Oh, I mean, that's all right. It's, there's so oh. many podcasts going on right now. Oh, for <laughs> sure, but how's it been, man? How's, um, you got any recent guests on there because of COVID? I know that last I checked, um, guests were really hard to get on. Um, a couple weeks ago, Tony and Brian were very, very nice, and uh, they let me be on the panel for an episode um, to promote my special coming out. And uh, and then Sam Tripoli, I think, was the most recent guest on the show. And then next week, be- uh, they start doing shows in Austin. You think there'll be another uh, Kill Jeremiah sometime soon? I don't think that'll honestly ever happen again. I think that was a, a um, one-time deal. Were you like, really confident and then it like declined as it went? What, that show? Yeah. I actually love that show. That that show... I loved, I loved it too. I loved how mad Tony was getting. Well, that, that was the whole fun of the di- the dynamic between the two of us. It's yeah. like, we're like brothers. We, we, we love each other like brothers, but we also fight like brothers. So <laughs> that's what's sure. fun between sure. the dynamic of like a show like that is like, we were in each other's business the whole time. And I was like, I was taking his show and changing the format on it. So that's and what you guys are yin and yang 100% personality wise too. So Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> of course, there's going to be some button heads and such going on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, hey man, um, how is the, uh, what are you doing with the poster? Uh, not the poster, but uh, the Watkins piece. I saw it was on the, uh, what's it called? The header of your store. Yeah, I um, I was thinking about, so for you guys listening and watching, um, Alec is an awesome artist uh, that um, that you should definitely check out his page right now, that you can you should plug your Instagram right now so people can go, go check it out, Alec. My, uh, my Instagram is alecmsmith18, and I also got another one just called Alec Smith Illustrations. So he's an awesome artist, and uh, he put together a piece for me uh, that's like kind of like a... I take like on the Marvel universe with a bunch of different superheroes. If you guys have seen that old school poster, he made a Watkins universe one with a bunch of my different original characters on there. And, uh, it's like the header on my, I think my Twitter and, uh, my merch store, jeremiahwatkins.com. But I was trying to get that on a shirt maybe, but they said it's way too many colors and that it would be like crazy expensive to do that. Like per print. So I don't know if uh, I'm going to try to do like some hard copy prints or not, but I would, I, I want to look into it because it's like my, it's literally my favorite piece of art I've ever had done. Like what, what you made. Can, uh, you can make posters of it. You got my full, um, my full graces. You can make posters of it. It's definitely, it'll work on posters depending on the size. I mean, I drew all of that to yeah. be 11 by 14 and, and 17. Mm-hmm. So you can get it on huge ass posters. Like I don't want to, plug myself twice but like i got like this poster right here of like venom and carnage i did dude uh, that like looks that, that. sick dude oh yeah this is i'm uh some shit went down for me on christmas so i went from texas back home to michigan so right now i'm in my little brother's room okay but i gave this to him that's so and, dope uh, it's a big big old size but i mean you can print these on depending on your supplier real cheap real cheap okay I'll have to look into that for sure because I think that I think there's some people out there that would love that piece of art because it's just it's just I mean, sick. I didn't expect it to blow up. I mean, as big as it did when you posted it. I mean, I saw what's his name. I saw uh, Jeff Ross like it, and I was like, <sighs> yeah, no, a bunch of people saw. It. I need to actually repost the one that you 
updated with a couple extra characters. Oh, yeah. I need to repost that one because it's been a minute since I reposted. So I'll have to do that. I um, fixed up a few things when I did that one too. I like I I just went around the whole thing and like gave it a little bit of cleanups. Yeah. Ooh, I am that that uh, that pie is hitting pretty hard, pretty quick. <laughs> it's like I I hate anything glazed, anything that's like covered in like a sugary glaze. I can't do that. Yeah, some of these are hitting a little heavier than others. I'm gonna I'm gonna work my way over to the glazed apple pie right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you to it, but I'm just gonna say uh, if y'all haven't seen. Uh, uh, the newest Honeydew with Jeremiah. Y'all really need to check that out. Uh, really eye-opening, also really funny as well. Thanks, man. I'm glad uh, glad you enjoyed that. 100%, man. Keep it easy. Well, dude, wishing you well, brother, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. See you. All right, bye. All right, guys. We're working on our way to the Apple. Apple. Pie. Oh my goodness. This is a Tasty Cake glazed apple pie. I'll give you my review of this. Oh wow. This one's pretty amazing. Gotta say, this one is pretty, pretty amazing. Listen, people keep talking about my poops right now. How gnarly they're gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have diarrhea almost every week. Almost every week, okay? So don't be coming at me saying I can't handle this because I, I did a thing with Josh Wolf where I ate tons of hot sauce, okay? Freaking tons of hot sauce. And then I traveled the next day. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing a, a Twitch soon, either t a Twitch stream, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I might take New Year's Eve off. Might do it on New Year's Day. If you don't have diarrhea at least once a week, are you really living means a reality? The answer is no. You're not. Yeah, my, my butthole is almost constantly <laughs> inflamed <laughs> from that good, good that I be that I be snagging on. <clears throat> All right, so so far, this is still my favorite: the classic tasty iced honey bun. Now, I've never tried this guy right here. My uh, my Twitch is at Jeremiah Standup. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Trying this one out. This is a new flavor I've never done. This is a Boston cream honey bun. Boston cream donuts are my favorite kind of donut next to jelly donuts. So I'm pretty interested to see how this is going to hit me. Okay, pretty good. I haven't reached the center yet. Um, yeah. This one's pretty good. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see that good good in the middle. I haven't reached it yet. I'm gonna say. 
It's gonna lose points from me on that. Cause I'm pretty deep in there and I haven't tasted cream yet. People keep telling me to grow my beard out even more. I've been growing it for a few weeks now. I'm gonna see who wants to come in here. Oh, I hit a little bit of cream. I will say that there should be more cream on the outer edge because when I eat a Boston cream donut, the first bite, I should be having cream. So. <clears throat> Let's see here. Jay Sunday has been waiting patiently for a long time. I'm going to add him in. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that cream, son. Again, it's so buried in there. It's hard to tell. What up, what up, hey, what up? Man. How you doing? How you doing? Doing well. You made me hungry. I had to make a peanut butter and jelly. Dude, show me. Whoa, now that's some jelly right there, bro. Yeah, look at this. Reese's? Peanut butter? Yeah, I'm going hard. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, man, how you been? I've been good, how you been, bro? Been doing well, been doing well, just trying to stay busy. I feel you on that. So, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm going to give this honey bun out of five stars. I'm going to give it about three, three and a half stars because the the cream is just not, not up to par. It should just be a little bit better, like distributed. The distribution on the cream. I'm giving my sandwich like an eight right now. Let's say not all levels. Dude, what are you, are you smoking something right now? Because people in the chat are saying like, this dude is super high or you're taking dabs because your eyes are barely open, bro. No, I was just taking a nap earlier. That's how hard you nap? I guess, I don't know. All right, wow. I mean, you go hard in the nap game, like you went, <laughs> you went deep. You went real deep. Hey, are you gonna be in uh, Austin for Kill Tony on Monday? No, I won't. No, that's a bummer. I hey, will I not. A, uh, I started a show that one of your characters on uh, Kill Tony. I was inspired because when he did the news anchors, uh -huh. like really cheesy ones, and uh, me and David Lucas are actually doing it together. Uh, we have like three episodes out right now. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Love Dave Lucas. Yeah. Yeah, man, he's pretty cool. We went fishing uh, last week. Oh. Down here in San Diego. Oh, he went fishing with you? I saw him holding a. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't realize it was with you. That you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came down like just testing fun. A bunch of his homies and everything that they're in the military were stationed down here, and I was down here, so it just all kind of worked out. It's a lot of fun. You should come down next time. This is so good. <laughs> I thought you were still motion. Holy shit, that does look pretty delicious. This What's is it? just this is just the glazed honey bun. And it's really so freaking good. Dude, have you ever got it in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to get a little bit warm? Oh man, that's mm -hmm. next level honey bun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, you should try it if you got a microwave. Oh my goodness. All right. This is towards the top of the list at Wawa. So far, my recommendations are the ice honey bun, the honey bun, and then maybe one of the pies, to be honest. Maybe one of the glazed pies. But, but you got the pizza? 
The pizza doesn't count because it's not inside Wawa. I love the pizza though. I love, I mean, I love pizza. I see. Dude. I know you napped a while ago, bro, but I've never taken a nap where my eyes are stapled shut for this long <laughs> after the nap. <laughs> I don't Did it, you man. smoke before the nap? I took an edible like a while ago. That's why I took the nap. So maybe it's just a little remnants of that. You think? <laughs> Hey man, I'm just keeping it clean and positive, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Well, I'm gonna let you go, brother, but I hope you have an awesome rest of the no night. Worries. You do the same, man. By the way, awesome special. I loved it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for checking that out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You have a good one. Safe travels. Are right, you too. Oh, the powdered donuts are up there too. Okay. The sugars are starting to hit your boy a little bit. Starting to hit it a little bit. Frick, man. I'm gonna need a power cleanser here in a second. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going pretty hard in the paint right now. I only have one last cake to review from Wawa. I'm going back to the the cheesesteak sandwich. Hmm. Last time I was here at Wawa. I went with Christine and Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh. Oh, yeah. We went to this one. Wah wah, we meet again. Oh, looky here, somebody couldn't wait to eat their Wawa, dude. Okay, I see you, dude. Eating and munching on it, dude. It was a beautiful thing. And they had me get the soft pretzel last time I was there. It was so good. With cheese dipping sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting exactly what I want out of this Pennsylvania trip. This is a chili kind of like a kind of a paste. I always get this at, at sandwich shops and stuff. I really like it. Ugh. Let's see who. There's a lot of people requesting to be in this. Let's see what this do say. I'm starting to get this. I'm about to crash from the sugar. Whew, it's really starting to hit me right now. Oh, power move. Someone sent me a request, but then declined me when I accepted them. Oh, the ball was in your card, and now it's no longer there. <laughs> oh, let's see. Alright. I see. Save what is the equivalent of a way in Spanish? Jeremiah! What up, homie? Dude. How you doing, man? Pretty good, how are you? It's pretty funny. Everyone's farting on the right side. It makes your pizza look like it's still steaming because the hearts come up. Oh, nice. It's fucking hilarious. I love that. That's awesome. What are you doing tonight? Um, My girlfriend and I have been powering through all the Terminator movies. She's never seen them. Oh, I did that, but with the Godfathers, with my wife during quarantine. Uh, she had never seen any of them, and I was like, eh. So are you now, question though, are you really going through every Terminator? Because now there's a ton, bro. I know, we're on Genesis, 
Fest, which came out in 2015. I didn't even know it existed. Um, There's some ones that kind of snuck by us. That I know, that, I know. You know? They recreated the first part of the original movie as the first part of this movie. And I was thinking, like, they keep bringing Arnold back, but they have a different actress for Sarah Connor. So many like times. His, right. And Kyle Reese and John Connor. And the dude who played the original Kyle Reese was just in the Mandalorian. So it's like, was he really? Yeah, you know when um, when she battles the... I don't know, I don't want to spoil her Mandalorian for you if you haven't seen it all. Well, hold off because the people in the stream might get pissed. I've seen it, but I don't want to... You know what I mean? Right. I don't want to ruin it for anybody else. But I'll, 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 keep, a, I'll keep an eye out then. Yeah, look, look out for it. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, what's the deal with that pizza? And have you had tomato pie in Philadelphia or in Pennsylvania? No. What is tomato pie? Tomato pie is like the regional Philadelphia style. Ooh. It's uh, a square. It's like a Sicilian. It's like a pan pizza. No cheese, just red sauce. That's what they're known for. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Is that just like a New York style pie? This place is called, are you, what, what, where are you from? I'm originally from New York, but I live in San Fran, and I came out to kill Tony at Cobbs. I own a pizzeria in San Francisco. What? This is called Giovanni's Pizza. Giovanni's. Yeah, I'm just a pizza nerd. Dude, me too, bro. I freaking <laughs> love pizza. The fact that you own a pizzeria, you're like royalty to me right now that I'm even talking to you. Dude, I try to get you guys to all come, all the kill Tony guys come to my spot. I wish I would have known. I know. Well, you know, I'm sure you get a ton of DMs. I was DMing you like crazy. Oh, so, so sometimes I'm able to see DMs and then other times it gets a little bit too much yeah. or they get lost in the mix. Look at that. We're called Square Pie Guys. That's our that's our spot. Square Pie Guys? Yeah. Next time I'm in the Bay, I hope that I'll be able to try your shop out because I'm always down to try new pizza out. Come through, yeah, yeah. This guy's talking about Golden Boy. Golden Boy is the old school classic in San Francisco. See, I've had Golden Boy. I've had that one. Yeah, yeah. Golden Boy is close to cops, actually. Okay, that's probably why we might have even gone there that night after one of the shows because we eat a lot of pizza on the road. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I listen, I listen, I listen to Kill Tony for a long time. I used to do stand up with uh, Peter Banachowski in New York back in the day. Dude, that's Peter's one of my closest friends, friends bro. I know, you guys were in sketches together way back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Peter and I ran an open mic uh, in Brooklyn in like 2014. What? what sorry, uh, what was your name again? I'll, I'll, I'll text Peter after this. My name is Mark. Mark, last name? Schachter. Mark Schachter? Schachter, 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 Schachter. Schachter, Schachter, Schachter. Schachter. A Jewish comedian from New York. It's so weird. Uh, Mark Schachter, yeah. Hey, how you doing? How you I like doing? Pizza. I uh, own a pizzeria now. Things yeah, are better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pivot, hard, hard left. Dude, that's a great pivot, though. To be honest, like, I would, if I wasn't doing comedy, I might be working at pizza. Listen, they're they're equally tough in some respects, but uh, we were lucky to kind of get it off the ground. Heck yeah! Well, continued success, dude, and uh, hopefully too, the next time I'm in uh, the Bay, I'd love to try uh, your pizza, and I'll, I'll tell uh, tell tell my boy Peter Banner Choo Choo that you said hello. Yeah, I call him Chow Chow. Say what up to him. Chow Chow. All right. Later, brother. Have a great night. You too. QT has the best pizza. Like Quick Trip? I love Quick Trip, but I don't know if I've had Quick Trip pizza as a thing. My mind's starting to slow down a little bit from the sugar. If you hear extra pauses... And that's what's happening. Um. Anyway, Ugh. glazed cherry pie. She's my cherry pie. This has got to be the last. This is the last. This is the last of the Wawa treats. I was trying. People are saying, 
GL sugar gives you a rush numb nuts listen back at you first of all I don't like negativity in the feed so take that somewhere else and second of all I'm not a numb nuts because sugar yes gives you a rush but then it immediately falls up in the crash and I've been streaming for a little while now so now here comes the crash okay so don't come at me like that and keep it positive all right uh, uh, here we go. This one's pretty awesome. Oh, that's pretty solid. That's up there. That's up there. Uh, that's really good. Oh my goodness. That's so good. I think we have room. It's so good. I have room for one more guess, maybe, and then I gotta, I gotta say bye bye, maybe, perhaps. Positive push. Positive energy. Yes. I've never had a White Castle waffle before. That sounds amazing. That sounds so good. Let's get some female energy in here. Yes. I think I gotta soak it up with some of the salts. Hello. Hey. How's it hey. going? That's great. I um I was really appreciating your episode of um Honeydew. Oh heck yeah. This week it was so good. Oh good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really really good. I was just like, it was it was so touching and funny. Um, Thank you. It. I'm glad it resonated. Thank you so much. Yeah yeah yeah. Where are you, where are you calling in from? Ooh, what part? Sacramento. Sacramento. Why'd you say it like that? Sacramento. Sacramento. <laughs> you know, little, little small town. <laughs> I was just talking to uh, another uh, guy who is in the Bay Area. So we have some Bay Area people who are making some noise right now in the chat. <laughs> yeah. So are you are you a Sheet Station guy or are you strictly Wawa when you hit Pennsylvania? Okay, here's my dilemma. I haven't had sheets, so this is a dilemma for me because I'm Wawa all the way as far as PA goes and Philadelphia and surrounding. But I haven't had sheets, and people kept commenting sheets in the thread, and now I'm like, I got to try that now to see if at least I need to compare what's happening. You need a contrast to compare. Exactly. <laughs> I'll do a book report. I'll make a Venn diagram like we used to and put the things that they share in the middle and then the pros and cons list and then we'll see which one I want to propose to. <laughs> Get a, what, I think they call them MTOs. MGOs? MTOs. I don't <laughs> even remember order. that. Made to orders. Yeah, Made I, to orders. I lived in D.C. for a little bit and I just never, I never went to Wawa. And then... So you're strictly tried, sheets. Well, I tried sheets on the, on the way I drove back 
cross country. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wanted to try Wawa and then I just, I can't believe I never did it. And it's like, now I'm just, I never got to experiment. I've gone through so many treats at Wawa tonight. So (laughs) I might have to make down the road, I might have to make a sheets mukbang video where I just (laughs) go through it. And also I'll have to do it when, um, People are commenting Bucky's in the thread right now. Have you heard of oh, Bucky's? Yeah, Bucky's is awesome. Mm-hmm. So Bucky's is an amazing gas station. I'm from Kansas City. Quick Trip is our ultimate gas station there. I love Quick Trip, and there's a lot of good items that I could do from Quick Trip as well because they got a lot of custom drinks and they got a lot of custom snacks and stuff oh. there too. They got the QT oh. Kitchen there. Woo, girl! Hey. They hey. bad. <laughs> that there's like a straight up divide between Sheets Nation and then the Walla people and it's happening in this in this comment feed tonight people are getting yeah Circle K yeah, somebody said Circle K Some, I also heard there's like a documentary Circle K is not even in the running <laughs> I'm like I know 7-Eleven like Northern California we don't have much for hardcore like I wouldn't want to eat it a convenience store I don't know a gas station I guess I don't know yeah, I don't know if uh, they consider one of those like a slur to them. If they're like, whoa, 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 we're more than a gas station. Hey, lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Calm down here. We're trying to brand ourselves. <laughs> Apparently, there's a documentary. I, I've never I've yet to watch it of Sheets versus Wawa. What? Straight up. Yeah. Okay. I need to get to the bottom of this. Well, this is this will be the part one video of maybe more gas station <laughs> reviews to come. <laughs> And that's where that's where my life's at right now. Reviewing gas station snacks. And then getting like type two diabetes from random snacks. <laughs> oh, everybody just keeps talking about how gross my poops are gonna be tomorrow. And I'm like, just calm down. My poops are gross every week. Right, you this is not your first time on the road either, right? So it's not like <laughs> No, not at all. I've been suffering for a while on the road. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to call it a quits pretty soon here. It looks like you full on mukbang though. I see the pizza. I joined late so I don't know what all you went through and then I said get a couple donuts. Yeah. I'll also just start pie. putting this stuff in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, so gross. Like it's like kind of gross like just looking at it. Like this is the bed that I'm staying in tonight. <laughs> so that's... You wake up the next like, I've oh. done a lot of, like, hotel work travel, and oh. you're getting out of your room. I just wake up, and there's this honey bun next to my face, and I was like, ugh, does it smell? Your hands are all sticky, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not good. Well, I'm going to have to get out of here. Okay, I'll see you at the gas station. Okay, bye. 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 Here we go. Here we go. A couple more bites. I'm getting tired. (laughs) Bono for show. Bono for show. So, dude, did you... Hit the wall wall. I think I might be. Am I beaming the people in? I think I'm done, guys. I think I've hit the. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. Sorry that she got creeped at me looking at the. Uh, at the uh, 
phone. <laughs> so how do we know? <laughs> you just got here? Penner, man. You just got here. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's happening. It's happening. I, I was about to go, but then somebody's just sent a request that I have to connect to. Jeremiah, how's it going, man? William, how are you, brother? What are you eating there? Everything from Wawa. Do I look like the devil right now? Yeah, where are you? Dude, you don't want to know. Yes, I do want to know. I, I just asked you. Man, you don't want to know where I am. William, where are you? Dude, Jeremiah, you don't even want to know where I am. William, I'm asking you. Bro. Plain and simple. I almost just what threw was up. That? Was that a no, I almost just threw up. Where are you? You don't want to know where I am, dude. There's lights behind you. Are you in your backyard? Does my hair? I've been taking hair supplements. Does it look like I'm gaining hair? I see a lot of them on the back side. Look at that front side. What does it look like? It's too dark to tell. I can't. I can't say. Okay, you're really sweet because I'm looking at my feed and it looks like I'm going really bald. You're really sweet. Look at this. <gasps> uh, William, you need a light on your face, dude. It's so dark. Well, it's dark where I am, so. Well, that makes sense. shine one of those lights on you that are hanging up. I don't think I could do that. Those are little lights. Where are you? What are you eating? How are you? I love you. I missed you. Where are you? I love you and I miss you. I'm, I'm in uh, Pennsylvania. What are you doing there? I just did uh, a gig at Soul Joel's Comedy Club in Royersford, Pennsylvania. I headlined a show there and it's just a one-nighter show. So I, I flew in today and I'm literally flying out at, at 4.30 in the morning. Why didn't you get me to open up for you? I mean, you would have to pay your own way for the, the plane because I don't have the money to, to pay for your plane ticket at the current level that I'm at. But otherwise, I would have had you open because I love doing shows with you. Well, you would have been sweet. I would have messed up. I haven't done comedy in so long. I've forgotten jokes. You're in L.A. right now, though, right? Well, you could say that. Are you in California at the moment? Nope. Oh, you're not? I'm in uh, Saipan, Arizona. Are you in Arizona? No, I'm in uh, Reseda. Uh, I just yeah. Ordered, I just ordered a uh, thing on Uber Eats. Where we podcasted. Yeah, I'm sitting back here. My dad saw the podcast. He said, William, quit it looking so drunk. He got mad about that. Well, we'll do another one in your backyard. People like that one a lot. I mean, people... Uh, you know, the stereo thing, I would rather do another one with you with where it's not stereo. Um, and it's just us chilling in your backyard. And I think that that will, will be fun in a different way. I hope it'd be fun in a different way. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, what does that taste like? Good. I love it. It's a Philly cheesesteak. Oh, nice. That sounds good. It's pretty good. I ate way too much. Did you? Yeah, I'm kind of have a hungover. I have, have a hung, I have a hangover now. Well, welcome to my world, but your hangover is due to food. Mine, not yeah, vodka. mine's sugar and food. But did you know that the one of the reasons in vodka is from the sugar is part of that the reason why you get a hangover? Is it? Well, it's not part of the reason why I'm, I'm growing more hair. Look at that. Have you seen the show Star Trek? Yeah, I'm generally familiar. Yeah. Um, there's a hairstyle of a guy on there that you're reminding me of right now. It's the Klingon. <laughs> Worf? Is his name Worf? I think it's Worf. You have Worf hair right now, bro. Perfect. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Well, I watched my Florida Gators get beat up by uh, Oklahoma. Um, uh, 
I got the Uber Eats. I da- I just downloaded. We need to game some. I just downloaded uh, Call of Duty. So you have been doing that a bunch. You have a gaming console? And my girlfriend's. Yeah, she has a PS4. And you've been going live on there? I haven't been going live. I've just been playing a bunch, trying dude. to upgrade my weapons. Dude, let's play. I didn't even know that you were on there because I've been playing more, and we can get. We get a fun stream going because I've been I've been going live on on Twitch and I can get you I can get you in the mix. Cool, please do. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm gaming really good right now. Are you good at the game? Yeah, I got a uh, a microphone where it only is covers my left ear and I feel like a college football coach. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. That's great. Oh my goodness. Well, Jeremiah, I love you. I'm going to get off. Nice to talk to you, though. All right, William. I love you. Good night. I might try to get on again, though, and accept me but maybe in like two minutes. But... Oh, okay. I'll, I'm, no, pro- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, I'm, nice probably, I'm probably going to kind of. I'm probably going to go. I'm feeling a little out of it. All right. Bye. Bye. I love you, dude. Forgot to tell William something. Oh, that bite was worth it. All right. guys I gotta go because I think I ate too much but I had a very nice time with you and um, I love you and I hope you are starting to have a good 2021 already um, good night all Stay positive out there. I love you. Goodbye. Wawa Mukbang has been brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Use promo code SAX to get 20% off at checkout. Also, come see me live February 5th through 6th in Dallas, Texas at Hyenas Comedy Club. Frick. What have I done? Thank you.